What's up guys, it's Dope Strings here. I'm here to bring you guys a video for today, man. A video, a video, a video, a video. So, here's the dilemma, man. Here's the dilemma. I don't know what is going on right now. Um, but Prime has an influx of cheap freight. I don't know. I don't know where the heck all this freight is coming from. Where is this freaking cheap? But they have an influx of cheap freight going right now. Um, and a lot of drivers might say that um, Prime hauls cheap freight. They've been hauling cheap freight. No, Prime has not been hauling cheap freight. Um, our freight has been like two to three dollars a mile. For the most part. I mean it's a bit higher than that too, but for the most part it's been like two to three dollars a mile. Um right now we're under I mean I'm getting loads that sent to me under two dollars a mile. Um I don't know what's going on with that bro. Um I'm not hauling that crap. Some other driver can haul it. Um but me personally I'm not hauling it. Um I will sit before I do that trust me I will sit I've done it plenty of times and I don't mind doing it again I will sit the money the money ain't that I mean I'm not hurting for like money like that to be freaking I just hauling the crap for cheap your boy will got thing I will go get a hotel room find me a little fine dining place um get dressed in like a suit or something go eat me some steak and hey I will I be chilling, bro. I be chilling until they send me something worth my time. Because hauling the crap is worth that's is freaking getting that they want me to haul for like a dollar fifty a mile or something like that. That ain't worth my time at all. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's not worth my time, bro. If you want to haul, if you want somebody to haul cheap freight, give that crap to a company driver. And I understand that Prime doesn't have as many company drivers as they do lease operators right now. But heck, give that to one of them. Even they, 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 they even have a lower, um, a lower, um, cost per mile. For the simple fact, they don't have to pay for repairs, bro. They don't have to pay for repairs. Um, and this is not knocking nobody right now, but I'm just saying, if you're a lease operator at Prime, for the most part, you don't pay for repairs. You pay for maintenance because your truck is under warranty. My truck is not under warranty, so I can't haul that. Um, I can't haul cheaper i can't haul it cheaper freight because i still have to put money away for um for my repairs like repairs i have to get down to my equipment um prime is, isn't gonna put a new engine in my truck and i put a new transmission in my truck so you, i have to actually have money for this stuff for when it comes up um they'll they'll front me money for like maintenance and stuff or whatnot like that um but that's cheap stuff that's not like the major items that you have to you need money for it as an owner operator um so what i'm seeing now is freaking a lot of cheap freight bro i'm not hauling it bro i'm not hauling so you're gonna see a lot of freight that says um second person i don't know if owner, other owner operators are hauling this crap but me personally i'm not um i go sit i go i take my ass home to be honest I, I'm, I'm just being honest with you i take my ass home um I've been out here a long time. I'm talking about since my last home time. Um, I've been out here. I've been out here since um, 4th of July. Um, I don't know, bro. The beginning, I mean, I haven't seen freight this cheap. People say they want to blame the election. But, bro, last election was not this. Um, it, was, it wasn't even this cheap. I don't know what the hell is going on, to be honest. Freight is... I mean, it's not, it's not, people say, people are literally saying buy equipment right now, um, do this and do that because the presidency is changing, um, man, do not listen to them folks, I'm telling you this now, do not listen to them folks, you should have been bought equipment, bro, you should have been bought equipment while it was cheap, um, while you had some decent freight out here, bro. Not, and I mean, even when you have good freight, I mean, even when we buy, we we 
trying to buy equipment we got good freight the prices of that equipment gonna be out gonna be high when you got that decent freight you ain't got to worry about that but um people saying buy equipment right now if you gonna put anything on the pavement i wouldn't i wouldn't right now not on the pavement no well if you run if you run consistently you run like me or something like that go ahead go for it but if you don't if you know you're not going to be, be be on the road like that you just drop you just want to do your local here and there don't do that bro to yourself I mean, i'm not gonna lie to you bro do not do that to yourself i'm not saying you can't make it but it's a risk factor that you probably don't want to take that risk um but guys man it is crazy out here man it's bro cheap freight man cheap freight I'm getting loads that pick up freaking two, three days out at Prime right now, bro. Um, I agree to some of this stuff, some of these loads sometimes. Um, if we have an understanding, me and my fleet manager. But now it's getting to the point like, I mean, you can't, he can't even guarantee, man, he can't guarantee this stuff, bro. He can't guarantee I'm gonna have a pre-plan when I can freaking drop this load off. Um, Cause it's, it's so freaking right now, Right now, it's, it's, like, it's, it's like so different. It's like it's changed within like two weeks. Two weeks, I start, like the last past two weeks, I've been starting getting um, sent cheap stuff. I'm not hauling that crap, bro. You, I'm gonna put a decline, decline, decline. Let me see something. I just got a message too, guys. So give me a second. I'm not going out no freaking. I gotta set the low of going out to freaking um. Going out to freaking um. Colorado Commerce, which is basically right next to um Commerce, which is basically right next to um to Denver. Bro, I'm not taking that load, bro. I'm not taking it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not taking it. This load is a thousand it's it's a thousand miles to the ninety. It's eight hundred miles to the freaking O one. Eight hundred fucking miles. Like bro, come on. Like Bro, I want y'all to know where I'm at right now. I am in North Carolina. They want me to drive 800 fucking miles up to fucking Illinois. Like, bro, come on, man. Like, come on, bro. 800 fucking miles? You don't have any load. We don't have we don't have any freaking load. Any load. Any load in the fucking world that freaking picks up between um North Carolina and Illinois. I got a dead head. 800. I mean, it say 710. I'm just going to run it motherfucker up to 800. Cuz 710 is still If if you want to ride it up to 750, it's still a lot of freaking miles, bro. Between freaking North Carolina and Illinois. It ain't no load between there and there. That mean, bro, and we and this this is my problem, bro. This is my problem, bro. This is a rant, but I feel like it's crazy. The Trans Am news, bro. The tra the Trans Trans Am news with the power only. Them hauling our freight, bro. We don't have the freight to freaking have them haul anything. They trying to send me a load that's seven hundred ten miles out. I'm not going to go get that. Like you gotta be, bro. You gotta be drunk to take a load like that. Drunk. I'm not. Hey, hey. I don't even drink, but. You gotta be a goddamn slob drunk to take that load. Like you gotta be, you don't, you can't see nothing. Like you blurry drunk. Like man, come on, bro. I'm not taking that, man. I'm not taking that. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna take that. I'm about to go to a truck stop and sit my butt down somewhere, bro. Heck, I might. I mean, I'm close enough to Atlanta. I'll take my butt home. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm still a ways out from Atlanta, from North Carolina. I'm like northern, northern North Carolina, but I'm still a ways out, but. I will take my butt home. Trust me. Now I tell them, if y'all have something worth, worth worth my time, let me know. But until then, I'm going home. So, yeah, guys, I don't know what the hell's going on with Brian right now. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I can't haul nothing for no freaking dollar fifty a mile. Technically, I think what was it like? I, I can't even do the math in my head. It was like a thousand seven. I think it's I think that's under. A, under no, it might be. I mean, it might be right, right at dollar fifty a mile. It might be right at dollar fifty a mile. I can't do the math in my head. How many miles? and How much that pay? Because it don't pay much. 
it don't pay much for me to be driving 710 miles up. Like, bro, what do y'all think I'm at? Bro, I'm in North Carolina, bro. You want me to drive 710 miles to the old one? Damn near a thousand, bro. I've, I'm gonna let y'all know. In my trucking career, I've never driven that far. I mean, I've driven 600 some miles. Um, it was to a meat patch where it was paying me. It, it made sense. To, it made sense for the freaking deadhead. This don't make sense at all for the deadhead, bro. This don't make sense at all. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. What I'm about to do, I'm about to take my butt to Love's and I'm about to freaking like do some maintenance on my truck or something. I don't know. Bro, I'm trying, I, I literally need, need one more load to make payroll. That's all. I was, I was given, I was told that we got two, I got two more days left. I faced, I, 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 saw, I told my concern when I got the current load I'm currently on. I was like, that load drops Monday night. I was like, well, I'm not going to be able to get another load in. You know, I, hey, we both know how this works, bro. We both know how this works. Then I get sent a load that freaking delivers Friday. Like, come on, bro. Come on, man. Um, Come on, come on, come on. I already, I already told my concern. So I'm going, all right, cool. He said we got two more days. Like, maybe he got something up his sleeve or something. Um, of course, the, the freaking fleet manager, they don't have um, they don't have open control over the loads that you get. Um, it's more so sales, planners, or whatnot. But, man, come on, bro. Just come on, man. It's going to be another decline. I ain't going to lie. Another freaking decline. But, guys, man, hey, let, let, hey, if you have Prime right now, just let me know what y'all looking like, bro. What are y'all looking like out there over the road right now? Because your boy right now, I ain't going to lie. I'm getting pissed by the day, by the day, by the day. I get, I get, I get sent lows like this. I feel like that's disrespectful. I ain't going to lie. Um, I'm getting pissed every single freaking day. Uh, I be trying to, I be trying to enjoy my drive. I love driving trucks. I ain't gonna lie, I love driving trucks. I enjoy freaking the scenery. I enjoy uh, looking at other trucks down the road, man. I enjoy a lot of stuff. I don't enjoy traffic no more. I'm, I mean, I got a short, I got a short, um, I got a short, um, what do you want to call it? I got a short patience now. My patience is like ran, ran really short right now. Since I got in the trucking, I mean, I, used, I mean, I don't think I was ever like patient, but been in trucking, a lot of stuff I don't even have patience for. Like I don't mind waiting on other drivers to back at the doors and stuff like that. Um, depending on how long it takes you. Now if it's, it's going now if it's taking like thirty minutes, and bro, and my and I gotta get all the way down the down the freaking um to my dock door, and you you not nowhere near my dock door. Oh, I'm going to be like, hey, going to stop for a second, bro. And let me get past you. Because I didn't get in my dock, though. Um, you taking 30 minutes, bro. I'll come back and help you. But right now, just let me get into my dock, though. I'll come back and help you get into your dock, though. And we be good like that. But, man, my patience is starting to run short. Um, I feel like this is disrespectful. They send me a load that's 710 miles out, which is probably more like 750. Because they do zip code to zip code. Probably like 750 miles out to dead here. And then the freaking load, it goes a freaking like a it goes a thousand miles out to freaking Colorado, which I'm not going. Um so it don't even matter about that. But anyways guys, man, I just wanted to share this with y'all because this is just my little rant video. Bro, cause I, I have been getting a lot of cheap freight um sent to me. A lot of cheap freight. I don't know if it's just me or what. Maybe, maybe Prime got something out for me, to be honest. I'm seeing what other drivers are getting sent. I mean, don't get me wrong. Some drivers are getting sent cheap freight. But, bro, every single load that I get sent is cheap. It's like a dollar fifty a mile, every single load. Every single load. I'm not I'm not even playing with y'all. Like, I, did, I, did, I have to decline these loads. Because, bro, come on now, bro. I'm an owner-operator. Why, why would I be drawing for a dollar fifty, a dollar, a dollar eighteen, some of mine? Like, bro, that don't make no sense, bro. It don't make no sense. You know who you're dealing with. You know you're dealing with an owner operator because of my dang numbers. Um, but anyways, guys, I'm just this is my rant. I'm just I'm done. I am done. Y'all see me at home. That man, I gave up. I gave up, bro. I gave up. But anyways, guys, this is dope strings, man. I'm gonna catch you guys on the next video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Um, turn on the post notifications.
Yeah, it's gonna get serious out here. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. It's gonna get serious. But until next time, I'm out. Peace.